hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Lake District and this is a place that is not frequently visited by walkers. This valley is Long Sledel and I'm here just to come and take some photographs and videos of the waterfalls and in fact I've got a small one just over here that's over a weir and I've got a big waterfall up on my right. If you can see it crashes down the crag over this way here that's Gale Fourth Gill and then up ahead I'm going to be coming across a series of bigger waterfalls as the valley steepens and it's going to be a linear walk of only about three miles going up the valley to take photos of the top waterfalls and then work my way back. Hopefully you can hear me over the rumble of the water, but this is the view looking down Long Sleddle. I've come from that way and there's a viewpoint overlooking a series of waterfalls. Look at these beautiful, beautiful cascades. And I didn't know this path actually exists as a gate just off the main track. I thought I had to view them from the track. So although I've been here a couple of times in the past, it's actually really nice to find something new. And there's a little bit of a trod alongside the falls and I'm now in open access land so I can legally do this. So I'm going to have a little wander up along the falls and see what else I can see. So the waterfalls have been really impressive so far and there's been a lot of rain recently so the rivers are quite full and I'm back on the main path now heading up to the top here which is kind of the start of Gatescarth Pass which leads over to Mardale and this is where there's two more waterfalls that I really want to see before I start heading back down.
So I've now reached the very top of Long Sleddle and there's actually a massive series of mines up here. There's a rather large quarry just over this side and there's a big excavation and a few remnants of buildings. And just over this grassy mound is Rengill Quarries. Now that is an extensive area of excavation. Now this is Gatesgarth Pass and the original track to the quarry is probably linked from here. But from the air it looks really really impressive and this is the point where I'm now going to turn around and start heading back down the valley. Well, the waterfalls of the River Sprint did not disappoint. They were absolutely stunning. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with future uploads. And I'll see you next time.